Everybody, Jared back again and welcome to another episode of NHL 21 franchise mode with your Vancouver Canucks. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So last episode, we got ourselves simmed up to middle of December. We're not doing terribly. Um, I don't believe we are in a franchise, not a franchise, a uh, playoff spot right now, but we are sitting at 17, 13 and two with 36 points in 32 games. Uh, lead scorers are, I believe, Quinn Hughes and Bo Horvat are doing equally as well. And uh, EP is uh, lagging a little bit behind, but I think he still has point per game. We're not going to jump to that. Uh, first things first, before I go into the simming here, I do want to do one thing. And that was suggested by a commenter. And I do feel the same way is getting ourselves a new coach. Now, it's not to say that there are better coaches out there. It's just that um, our players aren't the hitting the scheme what am I trying to say here? Our players aren't fitting his scheme to the best of our ability. So we're going to try somebody else. So first thing we got to do is fire this guy. So see you later, Mr. Aiden Evans. And uh, what we're going to have to do right now is just for right now, promote lanes up to intern head coach until we can get ourselves a head coach. And let's go uh, hire ourselves one. So we have a few options. Here is Evans again, but I've already gone through and picked the guy that I want. It's going to be Vandermeer here. I believe it's Isaac Vandermeer. So we have a few choices. You can see the uh, teaching specialty here. We have a uh, generalist, forwards, veterans, forwards, all these guys. So um, Mr. Uh, Papiano, he does have the best if we go over to teaching. He's actually uh, A minus his and A's across the boards, but I do not need a veterans coach. He is going to slow down... Um, Millers, actually, both all three of the Millers. We have a Miller in defense, forward, and in goal, which is amazing. And uh, Edler and all those older guys just slow down their um, growth, slow down their uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Decline. There it is. But we're really looking to help our young guys grow up. So I could help my forwards here, but don't particularly like this guy it is uh, isaac vandermeer here who's a generalist this is going to help thatcher and quinn you levy all of our young forwards grow up to be big and strong until at least we find ourselves somebody better so i'm going to offer this guy a uh, fairly lucrative contract to make sure that he comes and joins us give him over three mil hopefully he wants that uh, our budget does not matter i have uh, budgets off so let's uh, offer that contract let me know buddy and uh, we're just going to sim through a few days here and let's see if he accepts and then we can keep going from there. Um, let's advance a day here. And uh, Miller is uh, loving his ice time. Love to see it, Miller. And uh, he does not like the makeup of my roster, but he'll do best with, to deal with what he's been given. Well, suck it up, dude. What a dick. Let's see if we can get some better chemistry now that we have ourselves a new coach. It does not look like he likes everything even better. Let's see. So um, JT does like first line best. Uh, looks like Thomas Tatar is no longer a great fit for that second line. Wonder if let's take a look at Brock here. So Brock is definitely first line material now. Uh, Pedersen will kind of work everywhere. How's Horvat? Horvat will be in the future a fantastic third line center, which is awesome. Pod Cozen, beautiful for that second line. Absolutely glorious. I think he and Brock are going to be around for a while as that one two punch. I think what happens if we do this? OK, plus one overall to both lines. Let's go with that. Uh, how about you, Adam? He's not bad in any of the bottom six. He's better as a second line center, to be completely honest. So there might be a time, although they're basically the same age, actually. So possibly not. I was going to say these two could switch at some point. In fact, no, it doesn't change anything. Um, oh, looks like Jace Howchuk is as a depth forward. Oh, his face off suck. But look, oh, man, his defensive stats are just so good. Neither of these guys, or I remember this happening. None of these guys had really great face-offs, did they? Yeah, obviously, Louis Erickson is a no-go there. How about in defense? Not bad. We get better there. Doesn't look like it. What if I did just to get... Uh, yeah, let's uh, throw you a levy up there so he can keep on growing. Love to see that. That is going to put Edler on the bottom. I don't particularly mind if Edler digresses a little bit, but his defense, he's just so good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw now that I've got um, 
you'll levy up on the second pairing. Let's throw Edler back here just so that he, uh, well, we want to hold on to him as a top four defenseman for as long as possible. So giving him some power play time is not going to be a bad idea. OK, guys, let's do some simming here. Now that we've got all that set up, let's get through a few months, maybe into February and see where we're at from there. So let's jump all the way up to the 31st of January. And here is hoping that we can uh, do some damage as we go. Lucas Yasik has been injured with a sore shoulder. Um, I'm going to replace you. We only have you gone for two weeks, so I'll go back in there once you are uh, bumped up and we'll see who I'm going to take out. I believe Yasik only has top nine potential, so I'm not horrified if we don't replace him or ooh, look at this nice little stretch of wins here. Love to see it. Yasik is ready to play. Did somebody uh, get put in that we absolutely hate? Yeah, Paul. No. Petrus, you are out of here. Who do we got scratched? Apparently, I have Yasik scratched and I shouldn't. Um, Linus Carlson, who is scratched here? Got Chatfield. Anderson is. Oh, right. We have a bunch of defense. <laughs> so really, it's only Paul Mu who is our depth forward. OK, that's fine. Well, we did have a minus back with our other coach, I believe, down in the AHL. So that's kind of I don't know that couldn't that can't have been too big of a all right up to the 10th we'll let's just replace you down there all right we're having a few losses here which is not great three in a row not great uh deno for yaru i don't think we need a uh forward i mean <laughs> definitely not to know let's uh take all these surpluses off i don't want to be oh there's probably more on there isn't there yeah i always forget there's the second line there now so let's get those guys off and take those wants away. If I want to trade, I'll ask for it. Perfect. Let's get out of here and continue simming. Get ourselves to the end of the month here. There's a big win for us. Love to see it. Uh, From is back. Uh, so Paul moves in his spot. I think from must be a center. Nope. From is a left wing sitting on right wing. What are we looking like at from? Your top nine, 24, absolutely garbage. You know what? I'm going to leave you scratched. Paul Moo actually has a little bit of potential, at least. Well, actually, I think they both have the same amount of potential. There's a big win. All right, just a glass of water here while we're simming. 8 to 6. Well, at least we got the goal scoring. I don't know much about if we have... Uh, I don't know about our goaltending at the moment. We are definitely having some holes there. OK, well, let's just do scratched here. What do we got? All right, from your back in. Here's hoping the third line doesn't have to take too many face offs because I'm, I'm I'm just going to assume that you don't have any face offs. All right, let's head to the draft class. Um, apparently, with the newest patch, they <laughs> well, usually they do. Uh, they did, from my understanding, sort of solve this uh, early game um, scouting, but apparently not by much. All right, let's get a few of these guys scouted. What just happened there? Oh, I just went to the uh, wish list there. All right. Um, Gavin, can I scout you? Man, I hate that. Sometimes you actually have to go into your the player page to hit scout. I can't even scout him. Really? But I can scout Lamp. OK, fine. That isn't even what I wanted. OK, fine. Let's just do apparently. Well, I, I, I don't particularly care about that first round stuff at least not until later on in the year when i know gosh darn it stop hitting this the wrong button gosh darn it everybody you my friend you goalie can i please scout you great a russian goalie alexander Lokotonov. <laughs> i'm not gonna i mean you could let's just get these three goalies done yeah let's just do the three goalies i don't want to go all the way through everything and just tell everybody to scout i'm not going to uh do that to you guys and i'm not going to do it to myself either not yet can't even scout that guy uh you're all the way up there in and you know what no we're gonna do this to these guys as well there's a chance there's a chance that they could be what we need i'm not gonna go lower than the uh, elites for this round at least can't get that guy, apparently. 
can you? We really need our get some better scouts in the future years, but we're going to leave it at that until we get closer to the actual draft. Jet Wu has uh, got some performance gains there. Love to see it. Linus Carlson. Okay, at the end of January, it looks like we are 28, 21, and 2. Do I want to go to the next month as well? You know what? It's gonna get let's get ourselves up to the trade deadline. We're just going to sim right up there. We're not doing terrible. I don't have to change anything particularly big. Six to three win. Love to see it. And then uh I think that just time-wise, we are going to zoom right on through the trade deadline here. Not trade deadline. We're just going to uh do the trade deadline because I'm not gonna be trading for any big pieces. Just going to be trading some garbage away for... Oh, yikes. Look at this little... Ugh. At least we got a few points out of those games. But in general, that was a terrible trash garbage few games there. Block. Block, block, block. <laughs> All right, let's see how we're doing. Yeah, not great. Looks like Elias Pettersson is the only one point per game there, which is good that he is above point per game. Bo is just doing so good down the second line. I mean, to be fair, all six of these guys are not doing terrible. Tatar at 36, probably not not my favorite thing in the entire world, got to admit. But uh, Podkosen is having a fantastic rookie season there. Love to see it. He's actually playing his role now as a second line. Does want Adam on a second line, but he is getting a uh, power pay minutes, so he shouldn't be too horrified. Cool. Let's take a look at what our goalies are doing. And then maybe just go to the defenses, defensemen. Um, both, ugh, look at that save percentage. You've got to be doing better there, Mark. Uh, not Markstrom, yikes. That's your Demko, not doing absolutely great. Love to see a little bit better numbers from you, my friend. I'm putting my faith in you, and you are squandering it. Okay, let's take a quick look at our growth and then possibly contracts. We might have some uh, contracts to be able to handle out, hand out. Let's look at progress reports here. All right, so Adam got debt. I'm thinking it's going to be mostly statistical. Oh, he's got some to his face off. That's nice to see. Okay, it is mostly statistical growth for Adam there. And this is almost all natural growth for Vasily Podkozin. He is up to an 86 overall. Love to see it. I'm assuming this is almost all statistical. Yeah, what about you, Quinn? Oh, definitely some uh, still natural growth there. Quinn is getting better and better and better. How about you, EP? A little bit of uh, natural there and face off, up to, getting up to an 82, getting better and better. Um, I'm assuming Bo Horvath's got that weird. Yeah, every one of his natural uh, natural growth are hit up by a statistical growth, which as I just don't understand. Obviously, as a 26 year old, he still has growth left in him. He can't be losing growth, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look in the uh, system here. If we got any big growers. Yes. Why not? As a top six D, he has grown 24. Okay, well, he's actually getting a like, look at the 76, 76, 78. Not bad defensive stats like to see it. And even this 22 year old not getting terrible stats either. He might crack that bottom six as, as a six, five center. What are you? Will it tell me? No, it doesn't tell me here what his. Uh, player type is really right, right. No, it doesn't know. Oh, he was undrafted, too. That's so cool. Uh, Luke Hughes, how are you doing? All natural. Offensive awareness up to an 82. He's got a decent shot. Uh, 82, 84, 81. Absolutely beautiful. And those physical stats are getting up to there, too. Jet Wu, how are we doing here? Beautiful. Beautiful. 82, 85, 85. Oh, glorious. Just cannot wait. And our two goalies. Ooh, D Pietro, 81 overall. Looks like there's some morale growth in there, but it is mostly. OK, Sproul is still as a minor starting goalie, so that's great. But he is going to be ready for the big leagues next year. Love to see it. And looks like Wallstad's going to be taking over from him down there for a year or so. And he may possibly be the goalie of our future or it may even be Di Pietro. So you know what? If uh, Thatcher doesn't pan out, we do have two goalies waiting in line which is amazing. All right, let's go take a look at contracts here, actually, guys. See if there is a contract extension that we can hand out. Looks like Godette's ready for an extension. What are you asking for? 
4.5. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a break. Let's take a look at what we can get him for. Again, he's just been sitting there at this stat growth. So it should be, I'm just doing my calculation here, times 8.5 equals, we can get him for basically 3.9 for a year. I'm just basically waiting for his stack growth to go away so I can give him an actual contract. But here's hoping. Uh, I'm going to probably let Tatar go. Uh, Alex Edler, what are, you, what are you looking for in the future? I mean... He's probably going to be asking for a similar contract at the end of the year. He does hold down the fort there pretty well. I'm just scared that he will um, regress there a little bit. Man, that U Levy contract is actually looking better and better, isn't it? Um, let's take a look at what Har how a Chuck is going to ask for in a few years. I mean, getting him down to this now might not be a bad idea that is a super cheap low-end deal i don't care about you louis erickson i'm gonna wait for miller just to see what he turns out to be and uh that's about it for all those guys is there anybody in the system that we want um you guys i can deal with at the end of the year let's actually do this here Anybody here that I actually really care about? Sveshnikov? I mean, you're probably going to be at the end of your line there. Both of these guys. Let's see what they... Well, what are they asking for? I mean, sure, why not? Just in case they actually turn out to be something. They at least, you know... They could crack the, crack the roster. Well, although, although Sveshnikov's defensive stats are absolutely trash garbage at least uh kuffner here has some decent stats could definitely crack the bottom of the roster there uh nobody else here has anything terribly important that we need luke hughes is already on contract everybody else is on contract absolutely let's take a look at goalies um di pietro needs a new contract what is he gonna be <laughs> hell to the yeah Three years at, uh, let's just, yeah, you can have nine. If we can get up with 25 on an entry level contract, that would be absolutely insane. Good Lord. I don't know if he's going to say yes to that. Uh, looks like Thatcher Demko is looking for a contract extension. Looks like two years is kind of the sweet spot. Let's get him for two years. Let's see what we can get him for. That'll at least give our two goalies some time to uh, get a little better there. So 5.675 5 times 0.85 equals 4.823. That is pretty crazy because he gets pretty expensive as you go up, right? Yeah. All right. So 4.823. Let's just do 4.8. Two five. If we can get him for that, that would be kind of crazy. And uh, looks like Miller doesn't want that job. But you know what? I don't particularly care, my friend, because we are probably going to have Mikey up in that position for next year. OK, let's. Uh, what are we doing here? Right. We're at the trade deadline for the most part. Uh, I, once again, I'm not going to do. Am I going to do? Am I going to do? don't really have any big players that I feel like we need to be putting out there, but let's just jump forward these two days um, just to see about these contracts. March 1st. Oh, man. Well, I guess we are going to just replace him. It's not that far away. How Chuck got debt. Yes, yes. Ooh, Mikey. Oh, that what a great contract. Oh, that's so good. Well, it looks like uh, Miller was in there for one of those two games. Not doing great there, guys. Not doing great. It looks like EP is still above a point per game there, though. All right, let's go and propose a trade. See if we have any garbage to send away for some late round picks. Look at all of that. Beautiful, beautiful trade <laughs> value. And then at least got debts down a little bit there. The Tyler Mott value is just so broken, though. What a broken trade value. Guillermo. 
I mean, that makes sense. So what I'm thinking I might do. So I've got a few of these guys. Why not? Absolutely is not being traded. But get a get rid of a few of these guys for some picks. People that I don't think are going to be really going anywhere. Absolutely. And see if I can. Uh, you know what? Let's just get rid of all of them. I don't really want them in the system. Yeah. All of those guys together. Is there anybody that wants any of these guys? Ooh, you want him. I want Ovechkin. Never mind. You don't get Ovechkin. I get to keep Ovechkin. All right. Those four players, you actually want them. Can I get a third from you guys for all this? Probably not. We're going to try it anyway. It does look like it is. Well, we might be able to get something else for it as well. With these kind of things, the value is always going to be a little bit skewed. No, I think that was actually probably great. So we got rid of that garbage. Let's see if there's any garbage goalies we can get rid of. And then we do have a few too many. We have a fringe starter. Wallstead sitting there. I think that. We have a low starter, D. Pietro. So those are our two guys down there. And you're a low starter. I think I'm going to hold on to you. Mikey's going to go up. Ryan Miller's going to be gone. So then we are going to need someone to back up Wallstead there. So I think, well, then this could be this guy, isn't he? I mean, it's not like he has a lot of potential. Hmm. <laughs> Why don't I have it's actually probably good that I don't have Wallstead signed because he's not going to be getting the kind of time he deserves. Let's uh, hold on to this guy. Well, they do want him. Anybody else want him? You want him. Yeah, you guys have absolutely nobody in your system. Good Lord. Uh, will you give me a third for him? I doubt it. This is hard trading. You won't give me a third, will you? OK, you won't. OK, good. Whew, I was scared there for a second that they would give me a third for that. Uh, let's look at all skaters, see if there's anybody that I'm willing to get rid of here. Uh, I have a bunch of D men. I have a bunch of D men down in the uh, miners there that I do not need. Chatfield, Breeze Bois. Breeze Bois actually is uh, not a bad player look at those defensive stats he has a chance in real life and in this game of actually cracking the nhl uh sotner tevez i could throw this guy in here got him for two years left i mean i just have so many people 21 at 61 i'm gonna throw this guy in here we just have so many just sitting around and if that is the case, will you also give me another pick? How about the fourth as well? Rejected. Fine, how about a six instead of a fourth? Quite far off. Will you at least give me a seventh? No. How about just uh, straight up? Really? Not even? Well, I guess we have to find somebody that actually wants Uten in here, don't we? Anybody want both these guys? A bunch of people want just the one of them. Because a goalie is worth something. You guys have nothing. I want a third. Doesn't meet the blocks whatsoever. What if I add in a... Arizona 7th here? Really? Huh. Kind of want to get rid of this guy for something here. How about a fifth? I don't want to be like pushing too hard here, but it, it does seem like it's worth it. Real, well, fine. You know what? You guys don't get him at all. You guys don't get him at all. We're just going to leave it there. Although I did want to. We just had. It's all it's all trash. It's all trash. It's all trash, guys. We don't we do not need a bunch of late picks for this. Let's just go on. We might. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go into the actual trade deadline and we'll put some of those players on the block. Before I do that, though, I want to actually see because I don't think I can see that. In the uh, trade deadline area, what I'm going to do here is look in defense in. 
the AHL and see who he has scratched. Yermo. Yeah, so Utenin was was the correct choice. Josh Anderson is 23. So he'd be the other person that I could put on the block there. I do want Yermo actually getting some ice time here. Who can I take out instead? Sautner, you're out, my friend. Yermo, you are in. No, oh, get in there, dude. So I could throw Sautner. I could throw Utenin on the block there and probably see if I just get a seven. Just so you guys can actually see the trade deadline screen. And I actually myself have not put a lot of time into it, so I wouldn't mind seeing it myself. Let's advance a day and uh, jump into this here. Um, we are a bit of a conservative seller. Let's put it that way. Enter the trade deadline. And I'm not going to go around. I'm going to find a trade. Oh, it looks like Carter Hart. I didn't actually take a quick look at that. Um, I want defenseman. And let's throw, man, if we put Kate Quinn Hughes on the, on the block there. I want Sautner. Oh, no, I want all these guys off of here. I don't have a surplus. So let's leave it at that. Man, I hate that they do that. Boom. I'll leave the wants as is. I do want forwards and whatnots. I wanted to see if. Where were you? Uh, Udenin. There we go. And who else was it? Sautner. And now I want to find a trade. No transactions found. <laughs> well, you're being removed. Don't care about you. Now we'll have no trades found. So nobody wants them at all. That makes a little bit more sense. They're not really worth anything. I like the fact, actually, that the game has done that. That they have uh, made it so that just garbage is not worth something anymore. So who actually is on the block here? Brent Burns, uh, Tuka Rask, John Klingberg, and Carter Hart. Those are some big names. Radulov, Logan Couture. What the? Really? Seriously? Uh, Max Domi, who is on the Blue Jackets. It's pretty awesome. So these are all pretty sick guys, actually, but we're not going to go for any of them. So this is how, actually how it kind of works. So just you just sit there <laughs> and the day goes by. The real problem that I don't like using it is if I go propose a trade and let's actually just do this. Let's trade that goalie. If somebody offers me a trade while this is happening or if a big trade happens then we get kicked out of the screen that's why it is such a problem so salovs let's find some of the want you boston wants you they're having a terrible record halak is digressing horribly um they weren't giving me a third but will you give me a fourth for him trade rejected oh look there's trade alert oh did they fix it Oh, second is Zach Cassian for Nick Letty in a third round. Ooh, uh, let's throw in our seventh. Now, will you give it to me? What? Man. Nobody's giving me what I want. Trade rejected. How about just a fifth? How about a six from this year and a fifth from next year? How about that? Now, how about just a fifth from next year? Man, nobody really wants them. All right, fine. We're not even going to play around with it. Let's just get out of here. We're exiting the trade deadline. We're not making any moves. We've already made all our moves. We're just going to go forward with our day here. <laughs> Nothing overly exciting, apparently. Just a huge loading screen. What the hell's happening here? There we go. Wow, that was the longest loading screen of life. I guess I had to load all the trades. So, OK, fine. I forgive you guys. Uh, I don't believe let's just get ourselves up to the first, actually, because we have not looked at our stats, if I'm not mistaken here. Uh, Quinn Hughes is back and available. Great. Uh, let's go defense and Irvin. Hopefully you did well. But Quinn, who has dropped back down to an 89, is back on the page there. Great. And Luke Hughes, man, the Hughes brothers are struggling. Absolutely struggling here. 
Uh, okay. Ooh, Jet Wu's up to a 77. Let's get uh, Sautner back in here. Keeping the pluses one. Um, back to edit line. Shootout? Really? <laughs> well, that's pretty funny. Uh, let's give that to Jet Wu. You get to do it, my friend. Here's hoping he's got the hands for it. All right, let's just jump to the end of the year, I think. Let's just finish this year off. Bo Horvat is now leading in points. Yeah, let's just jump to the end of the year and then we can do, go look at all the team stats and see where we're at. Just finish it off, you guys. Here's hoping we get ourselves in the playoffs. We're looking uh, promising right now. Uh, fully healed and ready to play. I think that was just a minor injury, so it shouldn't be a problem. Seven to one win. Here is absolutely hoping that our team... Ooh. Yes, yeah, so let's uh, see what this guy is looking like. Uh, 28 years old. Nope. Decline. Interesting choice having him up in the lineup in the first place, guys. Good Lord. Uh, Luke Hughes is back. Let's get him back where he needs to be. Sorry, Sotner. Hopefully you enjoyed your time up here, but Luke is back on. I'm going to leave Jet Wu on the shootout, though. Because, I mean... You kind of got to leave a guy named Jet Wu on the shootout. We are letting in far too many goals, friends. And then they play two good defensive games just to shut me up. Three good defensive games. Good job, you guys. Let's see if we've got any of that first round scouted out. Finally, finally, we're getting some of this first round scouted out. So I'm feeling like we're probably going to uh, land somewhere back in here. I'm going to see where we are at at the end of the year and then probably just do some interviewing. I don't even feel like doing it. I'm just just this year. It's still so bad. Our scouts are still so terrible. I'm not going to try and put all the labor in unless you guys want me to <laughs> for these first few years. Yikes. Um, we're already in March, aren't we? Uh, you can. Yeah, we only have a few games here, so I'll just let them uh, replace him automatically. Shouldn't be too terrible. Yeah, well, hopefully not. That's a. Uh, Four games in a row there. All right, let's edit line manually. Uh, Hoglander. Oh, I forgot Hoglander was up here. Right, but he's just a depth forward, so he's not probably mad. But on that case, you know what? You're going to live right there. It puts us down a little bit, but I want Hoglander to... Oh, no, he can't play there. Never mind. What am I talking? Oh, no, I, yeah, I just put him down in the... Uh... I just put him down in the fourth line. Do I care? What are you? What is you? What is it saying you are good at? You're saying you're, you're you're supposed to be good on the fourth line, actually. I'm hoping that Nils Hoglander will kind of take over Tatar's spot here with Horvat and Podkozin. Is my hopes and dreams for uh, Nils Hoglander, but he he is saying depth forward. But I want to play him a little bit. Let's play him for the last few games of the season here. We do not care about Louis Erickson, so we can leave that as is. All right, uh, 39. Can we get up to... Yeah, we got 40 wins. We are holding on to a... Ooh, did we drop? I think we... I think we held on. Don't oh, know. Did we? I don't know. Elias Pedersen only got 80 points. Canucks, we just snuck in, guys. Just barely. Absolutely glorious. Did not get a lot of points. Not a fan, guys. We are a better team than that. I mean... That is, wow, Pod Cozen. Good lord, my friend. Absolutely wrecking face. Not bad. That is uh, basically, that's that's uh, three guys basically at point of game. Our two centers down, two guys down the center. JT Miller, what do they give you for face-offs? 88 face-offs. I mean, really, he, he's saying center first. Did they even, no, they just gave uh, PD and Horvat centers. So JT is a really good center. In real life, he takes up like 50% of uh, PD's face-offs, which is kind of hilarious. Brock Besser with only 26 goals. He plays a little bit more like a sniper right now, which is a bit weird. 69, nice for Quinn Hughes. 50 for Tatar. Adam Gaudet, get up to 50. Tyler Mott. <laughs> 20 goals for uh, Cole Lynn, though. That's pretty sick. I, can prob I probably should have this only for, uh, yeah, let's just look at uh, forwards. I mean, we've seen them having uh, seven guys above 50 points is absolutely sick. We really should not be where we are in the playoffs. I mean, in the uh, yeah, in, 
point wise with that great of a forward core. Not bad. Um, Alex Edler getting 29, probably a little bit of a low season for him. There's lots of minuses there. Not a huge fan of that. Only Quinn and Tyler are having had really good years. And this is mostly down to the fact that both of our goalies were sub 900, which is not fantastic. It looks like um, Thatcher had a few good games, but for the most part, not really. And uh, Ryan Miller only got us 17 points and in 22 games played. Not what you want out of your backup. So I don't believe we're going to be bringing him back. Let's take a look at our team points. See what we got over the year. Um, Goals for three, four, six goals against. Yeah, that's not great. In fact, that is the second worst in the division. Not good at all, Thatcher. Uh, looks like power play, though. We are absolutely disgusting and uh, technically not bad. I mean, sub 800 is not great. Not a huge fan. Much better away than at home for some weird reason. And a terrible last six last 10 games. So not great. Not the end of the world. Kind of a mediocre. Definitely not where we were at last season. Let's see where we are going to be and who we're going to be facing off in the playoffs this year, just as a fun little sneak peek for next episode when we actually start. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, no. Well, there's a sneak peek, guys. Seven to three loss against the Avalanche. Yikes. So we are playing the Avalanche, but Brock Bresser got two goals. All right, we're playing the Avalanche in our first game back next game, next uh, episode, sorry. Let's take a look to see what they look like, just for the fun of it. Uh, Colorado Avalanche. Look at that top line. Look at both the top two lines. Oh, good Lord. No matter, no wonder we got absolutely rocked in that first game. Tyson Jost, Nason Kadri. Burakoski, fully underrated player here. Well, I don't know if he's actually underrated. This looks pretty sick. And then the absolute stud of Nathan McKinnon here. Yeah, Nathan McKinnon is just absolutely a force to be reckoned with. And it looks like Bowen Byram is growing like a weed. What are we looking like? 91, 92, 93 for all of our defense and 85, 84. That is a tandem that is going to wreck face in this league for years to come. So absolute, just so scary. And in net, uh, Grubauer at 82 and uh, Francois, who is pretty sick as a backup. They are a rough team and going to be some great competition for next episode. Um, let's take a look at our uh, progress reports just for the end of the year. See where we all lined up. Looks like Quinn Hughes got a bunch of negatives. OK, uh, Adam Goddad is still sitting there with all that uh, statistical growth and he still just got the two face offs. Pod Cozen, Offensive awareness, defensive awareness. It hasn't changed uh, horribly much, to be completely honest. So, Quinn, what are you getting hit by? His uh, the statistical. Yeah, it's the same bug there. So this, uh, yeah, the I don't understand why it's red. Interesting. Any big changes in the system? Uh, Naslin has jumped up a little bit, and so has this uh, Howell guy. Aileen is doing okay. Jet Wu is still rocking face. Love to see it. And I kind of uh, don't mind the fact that we have not uh, put Ovechkin away because Ovechkin's doing great. Well done, Ovechkin. And uh, is this? Yeah, there's some morale growth there. So he's probably going to come back down to earth. He's probably actually like a, a 79 or something. I do believe we are going to give Mikey DiPietro the uh, the call in our next season there. I don't believe we had any more. We had Edler and Miller. Are you asking for anything less there, buddy? Nah, he's still asking for uh, big money there probably could bring back Kevin Miller. We can see where he's at. He is a pretty fantastic depth defenseman. Look at that 85, 87, 87 is not bad at all with uh, does he have decent? Where is it? I'm looking for. 
aggressiveness, agility, where his discipline 76. So he's going to take a lot of uh, penalties, unfortunately. I'm trying to find where that was. Erwin's our actual other guy there, and he has 83 discipline. So he's a bit of a better depth piece. He does not want an extension, though. 34, he's a little bit younger. Well, he's exactly the same age. We'll see. We, it, the, um, depth defensemen are pretty easy to come by. And we do have some young guns sitting in wait, so having them come up is probably a better idea. But on that note, I do believe I'm going to leave the episode there. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the uh, season. Let me know. Yeah, just like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And in the next episode, we are going to go through the playoffs, see how far we get, and then probably go through the draft and sim up to next season and go from there. So see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.